Money in, meet out. I'm Evan McMorris Santoro. It's the campaign in 100 seconds. Yeah. It's called a setup in comedy. Here's a question that no candidate wants to be asked after a day of campaigning. Drunk or stoned? You cool, man. Like how? And yet that's the question Rick Perry's being asked after his big speech in New Hampshire last week. I grew up on a farm. I grew up... I grew up on a farm. Why not? Why not get it simple? You gotta love that, right? Mine's cut, balance, and grow. Get that. Or... That! You know what I mean. For a candidate still reeling from bad public performances... We will change the, cir 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 the circumstances that face us today. This was not what Perry supporters needed. Now, instead of just asking if Perry's unprepared, Pundits on both sides are asking what Perry's on. He's um, perhaps been drinking. Look, he's got a bad back. Maybe it was back medicine that he had uh, too much of. The Perry campaign says there's no chemical enhancement. The governor was very comfortable, uh, very passionate. But few in the pundit world are buying that. Well, what's up with Rick Perry? I guess you could say loopy speech. A bizarre performance, to put it lightly. Oh my God, talking about stinking. That reminded me of me when I take an Ambien on a plane and have a scotch. A little odd and loose. It actually was Rick Perry doing Dennis Miller doing Rick Perry. Yeah. Who needs debates when you're a one-man show? Ending with the caressing and hugging of a jar of maple syrup. What in the world was that? Overall, after that speech, Perry's probably just glad that somebody else is having a worse week than him. I enjoy flowers like everybody else. Today has been awesome, girl.